Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. This is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. But outside of my graduate studies, I'm really big into the Eurovision Song Contest. And so, well, we all know what happened today. And so this video is me talking just a little bit about that, about my feelings and thoughts on that. I wanna be brief. Um, because I know there are a lot of emotions going around and there are a lot of things that people have to do. But given that I started reacting to uh, songs this year, it, it really hits in a, in a different place. I had planned to go to Rotterdam in May. I've been excited. I got my tickets like last October for my flight and my hotel. Um, and so Financially, of course, that's a huge burden, and I don't know what's going to happen with that. If I can still make it to Europe, not in May, but if I can get the dates changed to later in the summer or the fall, I'd still like to come to Europe, um, even, of course, not during the Eurovision season, um, just because I've actually never been to Europe. I've never been out of the United States, um, but I've wanted to. And so even if I can't go for Eurovision 2020, or Eurovision 2021 next year, I would still love to go to Europe and spend some time um, in a few different countries. But beyond just the financial, of course, there's an emotional aspect that's involved, um, especially for me personally. So as an American Eurovision fan, um, it's like I have my life and then I have my Eurovision life. <laughs> because most of the people who I have to discuss Eurovision with are not people who I know in person. Most of the time I discuss Eurovision in person, it's me telling people about it. It's me telling friends about it. Me being like, hey, listen to this. Like forcing people <laughs> to listen to it. Um, <clears throat> but then in the other aspect of my life, there's a whole community that I feel a part of. And I know that that's a little trite, a little cliche to say, like everybody calls it a community, but it is a community and it's a fantastic community. Even when people get snippy because, you know, maybe somebody doesn't like a song or even despite all of those disagreements and sometimes things can get a little heated um, with politics and with musical tastes and things, it's it remains a community that accepts people for who they are as a whole. And so I have been delighted over the past um, two years now, it's been that I've watched Eurovision live. 2018 was my first year watching live. But after I discovered it, I went back and I watched all of the, all of the contests from 2011 to now. And I own every album from 2011 through 2019. Um, and 2006 and 2008. So like, I'm really deep into this, even though I missed, you know, even though I'm fairly new into it, you know, two years watching it live, I've gone back and I've done my, done my research. But, <laughs> but so it's just a sad time. Hey everybody, I'm back on my uh, things that I forgot to say in my original video couch. Um, I forgot to express that I really hope that the EBU or whoever is in charge of putting together the Eurovision albums will still put together and release the Eurovision 2020 album, um, allow us to purchase that and use the funds for some good purpose. I don't know if that would be, you know, for a charity or whether if, if it's for a Eurovision related cause, but like, I hope that they will still release the album so that we can support the artists, you know, by buying their music um, in one place. We can still, you know, live in the vibe of Eurovision 2020, even if it's not happening, we can still enjoy all of the music from it. Um, and again, hopefully they can use the funds for some good cause. So I still, I hope that they put out um, the Eurovision 2020 album. But in, in the spirit of keeping with this community and continuing and i feel horrible for the artists who were probably so excited to show their art and to show their craft and to display their talents and their love for music on stage but in respect to them i want to do some sort of i don't know if it is like one tribute video or something 
to pay tribute to those artists from this year who I hope will all be back next year. So if you have any ideas about what you might want to see, um, perhaps from me, as far as like <clears throat> a tribute to the artists who would have represented countries at Eurovision 2020, whether that's like continu continuing to do like rankings or whether that's like reacting to live performances that come out of the songs, that they were to sing. I don't know what it could be, but if you have any ideas, like let me know because I would love to keep, I would love to pay some tribute and respect to those artists and their songs. And finally, I'm still gonna do reaction videos. I still have a whole list of national final reactions that I'm gonna do. And you know, I like to do my selfish reactions too. So I'm gonna react to songs that I like too. But especially given this time, if you have any songs that you'd like to see me react to, please comment those below one of my videos. It doesn't have to be this one, but it can be this one. But just comment below and let me know and I will definitely get that on the list. Because right now, I think, if we can all continue to converse and to talk and discuss, um, even digitally, um, it'll be a fantastic thing. I mean, who knows better about being part of a digital community than the Eurovision community? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, our whole shtick is being a community online for 51 weeks of the year and then coming together um, in person or the people who can come together in person, come together in person for um, one week. So who knows better how to cultivate these online social relationships, this digital community than we do. So let's continue this. Please comment any reaction requests and let me know if you have any ideas for how I can pay tribute and respect to the Eurovision 2020 artists and songs that we got that we will unfortunately not be able to see live in one cohesive contest this year. But other than that, if you like this video, then please go ahead and like this video. Comment below your thoughts on um, this situation. Again, if you have any anything you want to see from me, let me know. And then if you want to continue to see my reactions, because I do plan to keep doing reactions, especially at this time, then subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And as far as this whole digital community thing goes, it really serves um, to reinforce that for me personally. So thank you for clicking on this video, for watching this video. And as always, I will see you next time.